Hi, Roger Magulis, VP of Radar at O'Reilly here at Strata 2019 in New York, and I'm here with Rohit Mahajan, who is the co-founder, Chief Technology and Product Officer at IO Tahoe. Welcome. Thank you so much, Roger. Excited to be here and looking forward. Great. So organizations now have more access to data than ever, and they're trying to use this to get efficiency and insights and so forth. How can technology help them move forward in that direction? So what I generally say, Roger, is data is the new currency. Right? It is actually a double-edged sword, if you would. It can, if managed properly, if the bright insights are, del are, are delivered from, from the data, it can get you to increase the revenue, have the regulatory compliance, have the right governance. If not used properly, or the right measures are not put around the data set, then obviously you could have regulatory issues and challenges. So organizations, what they're doing today is leveraging a lot of technology platforms to get to the right data governance, to get to the right data visualization, data prep, data wrangling, so on and so forth, data integration. There's BI products out there that are getting, uh, that are getting to produce that value add to the end user and consumer. All of these journeys, they do start at the data discovery. You are only going to get as good of the output, as good as your smart data discovery is. And that's exactly what we're focusing on IOTA as a platform get to the right, and what do I mean by data discovery? It's getting to the right data relationships, the right data flows, soft lineage, uh, the right data, restricted data classification, the data profiling, redundant data, dedupe data, all of these data discoveries, if done right and upfront with high usage of AI ML, can actually produce fantastic results when it comes to the data governance, data cataloging, or other end user feature sets. So. The journey must start with the right data discovery, smart data discovery, and that's what exactly we're trying to focus on at IOTA. So how do you see automation working into this process? That's actually one of my favorite topics, right? So I use the word frustration by Excel. I go around. Very apt, that's right. <laughs> uh, I, used to, I used to have it actually death by Excel, but we have folks sitting around doing crowdsourcing, running data governance, knocking the doors of the subject matter experts and trying to collect the information. Hey. How does this lineage flow? How does the how does is this a sensitive field? Is this a sensitive column? Do we have exposure, um, and so on? How do we do analytics? All of that needs to be removed. If not all, at least most of it needs to be removed. We are living in a day and age of automation. We are talking about AI ML. We are talking about uh, ML model AI model actually perfecting chess in less than four hours. Right. So. Automation is the key. Faster time to value, the accuracy, the efficiency. Automation is the only way to get to it, and leveraging AI ML, uh, the right models, is, is the fastest way to get to it. So that brings up, with AI so much in the air, AI and ML, there's this kind of notion of where does the human and where does the automation begin, and wh what is your opinion on, on where you can, human versus machine? So I personally very strongly believe in between uh, AI, artificial intelligence, and human intelligence, there's a right amalgamation that has to happen, and that's exactly what we are doing. So what we say is, let's start the journey with the right AI model, which does the right prediction of the relationship, the right prediction of discovery, with the right confidence, the highest true positive and the lowest false positives. Uh, that's what the machine does, and gets you to 80% mark. Guess what? That's where a human intelligence has to come in to actually accept or reject the prediction that machine has done. So without the right amalgamation, right interaction, um, AI is not going to go too far, and humans are obviously going to be restricted without using the automation of ML mm -hmm. and the prediction. So how far do you see this going in terms of a business strategy and, and fit with companies? You know, a lot of people are looking at it, but I think the, it's uncertain what's going to happen. Yeah, so it's actually, it all starts with understanding the use case and the problem that's getting solved. And again, I'll go back to what our anchor is, what our vision is. Discover your data set. You, it could be structured, semi-structured, unstructured, IoT data. If you know your data, it's like knowing your plumbing. If you know it, then you can have the best analytics, the best visualization, and so on. Now, bringing in the AI ML, 
And that's again, as I mentioned earlier, that's what we do at Tahoe. We have nine patents uh, on AI ML filed pending approval. That's what we do every single day. Every line of code that we write is focused on how can we get to the automation? How can we do the right modeling, which is domain agnostic, does not break from a client to client? And on top of that, does the right prediction. At certain point, we bring the users in and the users can provide the feedback. At that point, we again bring the AI to do the reinforcement learning. And so this is a continuous, I call it, uh, propulsion upwards between a human AI, let me help you as AI, let AI help me to give results to each other and have that proper amalgamation between the two and keep propelling forward. Data, as I mentioned earlier, data is the currency. If you use it right, it is getting us to places. I see clients actually leveraging data to get to new, uh, new heights and so on. Using it the right way, discovering it the right way is where the journey starts. If you discover it right, you can really catapult really fast and and um, really fast to the to the to the end game. What would you tell an organization, you know, how best to accommodate this, that kind of culturally and structurally? That's uh, to be honest, that's one of the bigger challenges. It's not the technology. Cultural challenge is the bigger challenge. So essentially, uh, what my recommendation to the organizations is, uh, which is which is what I end up talking to the clients make sure that the right program is set up. Make sure that the users know what your use case is, what you're trying to achieve. You cannot get to it overnight, and one platform is not gonna solve it all for you. But make sure, again, when you start the journey, start with the right discovery. It's same as you've given the input as gold or diamond, the output will be equivalent. If you give it unknown relations, unknown uh, data attribution, it's not going to go too far. So it, it all starts with the discovery, set up the program right, have the users engaged, give them the right automation tool sets, get it exciting for them, right? gamify it. Give them the right collaborative environment to work in, uh, leveraging AI. It's very attractive to each one of us out there at the client side or, or, or not a client side to actually talk about AI. And when users start seeing the prediction, everybody wants to get off that frustration by Excel. And once they see that, once they see that AI is producing the right prediction of relationships, it's a self-adaptation of the process. You don't have to push them, they will do it themselves. Great, well thanks a lot for your time. Thank you so much, Roger. Thanks for having me.